This part contains strong language from the outset and throughout. Sorry about the dogs. Oh, very... no, I love dogs. <laughs> they don't bite, they're just really loud. I'm being interviewed today for a podcast with Mia from Team Mom UK, and she's just arrived with the production team. So, we have come to Bedfordshire, to Marnie's house, and we are in her kitchen with her dogs. <laughs> what are your dogs called? So, I've got Savvy and Envy, two oh, small chihuahuas. They are so I'm cute. Just, I'm obsessed with chihuahuas. Do you miss Geordie Shaw? It was so fun. Back in the day, it was the time of my life. It yeah. was amazing. I used to love doing this type of work, but I just don't really feel up to it when I'm in pain with my bladder. But hopefully, I'm hiding it well. I just need to get on with it. Work? Yeah. Are you back? Are you, how are you doing? I'm kind of just, like, taking me time with work. I'm not, like, rushing into it. It's not... It is a priority, but obviously Casey's working, so I just feel like Rox is my priority. Spend and obviously my health as well. Like, I still don't feel 100%, so I feel like I just got to work my way back into it yeah. slowly. So you have, like, bladder problems? Yeah. So did you have it, like, when you were pregnant as well? I had it. How did you...? No, I had it I had it before I was pregnant, and then after giving, having that awful birth just flared it all up and oh, has made God. it really bad. Yeah. It affects me whole life, what I eat, what I drink. I worry about leaving the house in case I need the toilet, and the pain can be unbearable. Yeah. Having a bladder condition is just the worst. Like, you have to make sure that you're going to be somewhere where there's a toilet, and if there's not, and you need a wee, I might be in pain, and it's just like, oh, I've literally got a potty in my car. Have you? Literally. And you wee in it? If I need to. I feel like I related so much to Mia, and I was actually so relaxed. So I've got some fan questions okay. for you. What is your favourite thing to dress rocks in? Track suits. Sarah has asked, what's the scariest thing about being a new mum? Just the responsibility. It's just so scary. And said, has Rock smiled yet? He's starting to smile a lot now, and I've, I've noticed he smiles at girls a lot. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank You've you been so me. honest, open. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm in your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased it's finished. Now I'm just glad to get back with my family. Right, it was so nice. Oh, I had thank so you so much, much for sitting down. <laughs> See you later. Bye. The baby is not due for another two weeks, and Emma has gone into labour early. Emma's doing fine. Hopefully, the birth and everything's OK. But yeah, I'll see you soon, and hopefully I can share some pictures very soon. Watching your kids be born is one of the most emotional and most special times probably of your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're there, that is your child, you've created it. It's just, it's amazing, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's just a blur of emotions. Hello. <laughs> right, so although baby girl has arrived, she weighed seven, okay. seven pound eight. And we've decided on the name Primrose. Primrose Ivy Beetle. I think as a lad, you have a kid, but your missus carries that kid and your missus gives birth to that kid and what they go through, your respect levels for your missus and for Emma on this occasion, just rock it. Hey 
guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OG videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?